Hey guys, this is Siddharth here and today uh, our activity will be packet tracer activity using the ping command. Here we have to identify an incorrect configuration on a PC via using the ping command and uh, the command prompt and all the terminal and maybe changing the IP configuration. So let's get started. So first we have to, uh, as the background scenario is here, a small business owner learns that some users are unable to access the website. All pieces are configured with static IP addressing, which means that there is no dynamic IP addressing. Which means that static IP addressing essentially means uh, just putting the values of the IP addresses manually. Here we have to see the ping command to identify where the issue is and why some PCs are unable to connect to the web server. So verifying connectivity, you have to first access the desktop tab. Web browser of each PC. So click on the PC one and I have to desktop to the desktop and then go to the web browser. In the URL, as you can see here, we have to type the URL of Cisco.pka as it is given here. Okay. So we can see that uh, this is go.pk shows what we packed to this website, and this is this has been connected with a successful connection. So this PC is able to connect to the web server. Moving on to the next one is PC2. We do the same thing, we go to the desktop tab, we go to the web browser. We type in the URL of www.cisco.pk. Now, as you can see, it's taking a lot of time, it should, should not, and uh, I think it has been more than a minute before we have received a web response from this URL. So, I'm going to close this because this we are unable to connect to the web server via PC2. So, we click on the close button here and we'll move on to the next one PC3 desktop web browser. Type on the same thing, voila. You will see that the web browser is connected. And then we go to PC4, desktop web browser, we do the same thing again. It's essentially nothing but typing in your website and you know Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or something. Voila, it comes again. So it means that PC2 was unable to connect to the web server. So, I'm going to show you what the next part of the instruction is. So now on PC2, we have to access the command prompt from the desktop tab and then ping Cisco, ping the website. So we access command prompt here. And we just simply write this, the website. We are waiting for a reply. Usually, the when we just set the domain name, ping domain name, the domain name gets translated into an IP address, which through the DNS server, which you can access easily, and therefore the results from that uh, website are given. So we do this in the form of packets. Of those four packets are sent, three are received, one is lost. But still, it will be a successful transmission. And unsuccessful transmission will be when there is a hundred percent packet loss. As you can see, there is no reply, and it says that the thing for ping return reply. Answer is no, it did not. What is the IP address displayed in the reply if any? I mean, if there is no reply, we cannot see the IP address. So we close this now. And now, 
XP, access PC1 as the next step and access the command prompt from the desktop. We ping the same website and as we know, what we did in the web browser desktop tab here in PC1, it was showing the website, I mean PC1, PC3 and PC4 should all of them were able to connect to the website, but PC2 was not. So this should, yes, it is pinging this IP address. As you can see, packets here sent four, received four, this is a zero percent loss, which means it's a successful transmission, and which means it is working. And now what we need to do is note the IP address of this domain name which is 192.15.2.10 as sales. What is the IP address returned, if any? So yes, the ping returned, yeah, and this is the IP address. Just copy it, also, and close this. In the next PC2, we have to access the command prompt and attempt to reach the web IP address or the web server with the command. So what we did again, we did ping uh, with this website is not showing the correct one. Now we do the Now we can see that it is pinging successfully. There is 0% loss, which means that PC2 is working if we give the IP address as the ping and not the domain name. This is very important. Now we can go to the next one. So we have reached the IP address with the command 192.152.10. Yes, the ping returned to reply. If so, the PC two was able to reach the web server via IP address but not to make the mechanism. Now this could indicate a problem with the DNS server connection on PC2. So now what we need to do is go to the con we need to go to desktop tab, we need to close command prompt, we need to go to the IP config and as you can see we have to see the DNS configuration which is wrong here as you can see. 191.15.2.5 there is not Rather, the DNS server is 192.15.2.5. How do I need notes? I mean, uh, obviously, it's simple to know. Thing is, we effectively uh, skip step 5. We need to do step 5 again. We go to PC1, command prompt and write IP config it's not slash all it should be a space and then slash and then all so now we can get this we can see that uh, this gives all the configuration information for our PC1 so now here what you actually need to see is the DNS address and the DNS server address is 192.15.25 this is important 192.15 1.25. So it's 192.15.25. We have configured it. And now what we need to do is see if we are able to connect to the website. So we can see if uh, the thing has been changed right now. Now we have to access the website, the browser. Before that, I will need to check here via the domain name. Yes, we are receiving information from this domain name while pinging, and there is a 0% loss, which means that maybe on PC2 will now be finally able to connect to the web website. Voila, we have connected to this button, and that ends the activity. We're going to check the results here at the bottom of this instruction window to check your work, check results, and we have completed the activity. Thank you for watching the video.